from one giveaway to a different kind of giveaway. Now, uh, South Africa, as you know, we've got some very handsome people in the kitchen today. Dr. Van Zaghi, you're in the kitchen. Are you ready, sir? I am always ready. To <laughs> always. Jay, my friend. Hello, too. How so should I say up? ciao? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm getting ready to get into this. We're all about the pasta today, right? All about the pasta. And as we are celebrating World Pasta Day, did you know that you only need flour and eggs and just a little bit of love to make your own perfect pasta at home? So Mzanzi, get ready to roll as we show you how to make, roll, shape, and store your own very homemade pasta. So you know that's that saying, Tooms, keep mm -hmm. it simple, stupid. Okay. So this is one of those <laughs> moments, you know, Everyone does it differently. I yeah. must admit, I'm not the biggest pasta maker at home. Yeah. I've done it a few times, but don't really have, uh, you know, a lot of experience. But that's why we got the doctor here. Today. But you're right to me. Two ingredients. We've got flour and we've got eggs. Now, obviously, the, the, the main starter point is use the best ingredients. So you could use, uh, you know, get proper flour, get the freshest eggs, and that's all you need. So I'm going to be a little chefy today. So I'm going to roll this dough out onto my surface. Now, we're using 100 grams ratio to one egg. So we've okay. got 300 grams. And I think when you're starting out, I think it's important to maybe scale it down, start with a, you mm -hmm. know, a smaller quantity, and then you can really sort of double the recipe or triple it if you want to make more in the future. So okay. I'm just going to make a little well over here. And I've, the lovely thing we have here is we've got Dr. Van Zaghi, who's actually Italian, <laughs> and you'll actually be... carefully watching what you're doing. <laughs> Am I doing it correctly? So I'm just going to pour my eggs so far, in there, so and I'm going to give it a quick little whisk with a... With a, a really a nice tip as well is to season your eggs at this point. Okay. Um, because sometimes if you season the whole thing as a, like a whole, con you know, a whole dough, oh, mm. your, your seasoning doesn't spread that nicely. So if you want to season your eggs at this point or a little bit of salt into the flour, oh. I think that brings out a lot of flavor in your pasta, which is really oh, nice. That's quite interesting. That's quite Actually, interesting. I didn't know that as well, but it's a good tip. Um, uh, going into that. So um, I see Jay has actually gone in with his hands. Uh, would this be something that is... I usually break the yolks with the fork and I do exact... I think that once you've made pasta a few times, like the feel, you, you can't really tell anyone how to do it. Yeah. But like, you just know. Okay. So like it's the all about the feeling. It's all about yeah. the texture, right? So I'm going to moat away with this dough and just give it some love because that's what we need. But Doc, <laughs> you've got a, a, a yeah. dough that we've made yes. already and you're going to show us the next step of our cool. pasta making. So this is now just being exposed. But once you've made it, cling film, tight, like there must be no air around it, yeah. and store it in the fridge, let it rest for about 30 minutes. Then you'll have this, keep it covered, and just cut off the portion that you need. Okay. So we've been we're really lucky here, we have a beautiful machine, you obviously yeah. need, I mean, you don't absolutely need this, you can roll it out with a, with a rolling pin, but to be honest, it, it never comes out quite the it's same. It's not so, the same, right? You know, having the pasta machine is, is pretty important. I always say, I don't know how to, I don't know what it weighs, but it's, it's about a, a palm sized. Okay amount of pasta. That's great because then it, it's it's going to be personal to every person. You use palm size however, because yeah. my palm size... How much you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> right, um, yeah, so you want to get it relatively flat enough so that it can fit through the biggest setting on your on your pasta machine. Okay. And that's going to be your number one. All right, um, so awesome. So let's get it on there. That's number one, working nicely. Always enough flour on the work surface. I always say, you know, the flour is going to dry out your dough a little bit, but you don't want it sticking to the machine. Right, and I also right. see that you've also floured the pasta machine as well. Absolutely, so you never wash this, you never put water onto the machine, you can always just put a little bit of flour onto the top. Okay. First roll, you go through. Right, let's just get that going. Okay, so what I do, you get the first roll through. Now you have a little bit of a weird shape. Mm -hmm. So what you do, we call this the book fold. So in and in onto each other, and now you get this really nice uniform piece. Ah. And what's really nice to remember is that it now goes through in this direction. Yes. So from, that's the only thing you need to remember. Yeah. So roll through two flaps in, and then you have this sort of thing. You can always put the, the fold towards you, and I go through the same setting one more time. Okay, perfect. So now, yeah. good starting point. I see you. And from here, the pasta machine usually has about nine settings. Mm -hmm. You go from here, just going one setting smaller every single time. You don't do a double roll. Uh, so you go. go so from the one to the two to the three, three and just four, all the way until you get to the to the last the setting. Thick, okay. That's generally the thickness that you want. Okay. All right. So you let it go in. That's the next setting. Go one up. And I love that trick that you've just shown, Doc, because when I've made pasta, I just sort of oblong thing. Yeah. It's <laughs> like it's, it's, you know it's it's got cracked edges. You don't have that uniform yes. you know shape. So that's actually quite a nice. And you nice get you get this thing. weird like thing here and then you don't know how to feed it in, where to start. <laughs> exactly. It's a really nice tip to remember. So now, um, Doctor, 
I, I just want to go back to this one that we've had. So we've got some that we already made a little earlier yeah. and we've flattened that out. How would we then use this? So we can obviously use this for um, if you want to do like a lasagna because it's a nice flat sheet. Absolutely. But if we were to perhaps like make a tortellini or a ravioli, what would be the next step from this point? So again, you keep it on a floured surface okay. until you have all your sheets ready. Mm -hmm. This can now be made into a lasagna sheet. This machine comes with other settings. Mm -hmm. um, you can see there's the spaghetti, there's the, you know, all the oh. shapes and sizes. And okay. you just feed that through the machine and it would cut it into linguine oh, or okay. spaghetti or whatever you want. If you don't have that, you can roll it and cut it into spaghettis. Okay. If you want to do that. I think today, what's really nice is we want to just make some raviolis. Okay. Um, filled pastas. There's many, many different types many of filled pastas. Uh, and obviously the filling would be up to you, whatever you want to add in there. Just yeah. make sure it's something that's dried out. You don't want it to be too runny. Absolutely. Otherwise it seeps through those edges. Yeah, so the, the, the fundamentals of filling pasta, you know, there are so many different things. Yeah. You can really explore that as much as you want. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is, I, I usually do two sheets like this. Okay. Um, and you want to have pastas that are going to fit. You, you never want to overfill the pasta and you want to make sure that the sheet is, is a nice size. You also get ravioli cutting shapes and sizes, all kinds of things like that. We'll do round ones. Okay. Whatever you have at home, really. These are really nice. They've got sharp edges and they cut through the pasta yeah. really nice. But whatever you have at home that's round and can cut, you can use that. So just for today, we'll do that. And I love how thin that pasta is. I think, yeah. you know, you lift that up and you can literally almost start to see, see things, you know, seeing, peeping through. Yeah. Okay. My gran always used to say, you need to stand and blow, <laughs> and if the if the pasta is not like waving okay. around, then <laughs> you're doing something wrong. So I just want to ba basically show South Africa how we got to something like that. So yes. you've cut it up into. So the... that, let's just move those ways. Yeah, see, nice, nice flowered surface as well. So you'll have two that are pretty much exactly the same size. You can do a little filling there. In the center, like yeah. that. Always yeah. remember not too much. I think that's the most important thing. Sure. And then you have a little bowl of water. Um, what I do is I just go around the edges, right? So you want this to stick and you want to make sure that your, your ravioli is not going to just go open. Um, bringing that edge up, you come around the sides, and you, you want to work from one side to the other side and make sure that there's no air around the filling. So what you do is you, you're pressing around, making sure that there's no air, and you want to get it nice and flat, right? Well, as you can see, South Africa, as much as this might seem like it's a lot of work, it is literally very so simple. Easy. Once you've got the basics down, you can make a, a lot of different kinds of pastas. But we still have a lot more, you know, to show you in terms of what pasta is all about. But to get the recipe details, go on to afternoonexpress.co.za. But do continue to watch because we've got so much more in store for you.